What's up everybody, welcome to a brand new series I'm starting, where each episode I break down a different Overwatch hero candidate and analyze everything we know about their role in the story and chance of becoming a playable hero. Today's new hero candidate is the Vishkar Negotiator and Secret Talon Council member, Sanjay Corporal. This is Master Ian Gamer, and let's get into it. As a quick reminder, YouTube's been in the business lately of unsubbing people from channels they're still regularly watching, so if you've subscribed to my channel in the past, make sure that you're still subscribed if you don't want to miss out on any of my future uploads. And if you're new to the channel, then I hope you enjoy it enough to subscribe and jab that bell button for the very first time. Now, on to Sanjay. To start, I'll run through all the canon appearances and story details we have for him so far. Sanjay Corporal is a Vishkar Corporation official who appears to specialize in negotiating with potential clients. His first and so far most prominent appearance was in Symmetra's A Better World comic from back in 2016. In it, we see Sanjay remotely heading negotiations with the mayor of Rio de Janeiro and vying for a contract to redevelop the city. However, the mayor instead ends up going with Colado a competitor of Vishkar's due to Colado having a pre-existing relationship with the city and his plans being less invasive of the nearby favela. In response, Sanjay has Symmetra, who was physically stationed in Rio for the negotiations, try and dig up dirt on Colado by infiltrating his headquarters. After finding nothing of value, Symmetra retreats and moments later, the building is obliterated by a massive explosion. This explosion also causes a massive fire in the nearby favela, thus causing extensive collapse damage. With Colado now no longer an option, Rio's mayor is forced to instead offer the contract to Vishkar, who some months later is shown to have finished the new city center. At its grand opening, Sanjay is present in person and acts sympathetic towards what happened to Colado, despite more than likely being the one responsible for it. Furthermore, when Symmetra asks him if the fire and destruction in the favela was also part of the plan, Sanjay dodges the question and instead states that it is simply the price of rebirth and growth. Outside of Symmetra's comic, Sanjay has three other canon appearances. One of these is in an email correspondence with Lumerico's CEO Guillermo Portero, which emerged during the Sombra ARG. Its contents revealed that Sanjay was conducting negotiations with Portero in a similar fashion to how he worked with Rio's mayor, even down to the discreet suggestion of being able to forcefully ensure that things work out for them. After this, Sanjay again made an appearance as part of Talon's inner council in the Doomfist Masquerade comic, and is seen sitting at the table here beside Moira. Later, he appeared again in Moira's origin story video in this scene alongside the other Talon members. But unfortunately, this is where his story appearances come to an end. At the time of me making this video, it's been well over two years since Sanjay last appeared in either name or person. To be fair, given how much the story has slowed over the past year specifically, this really isn't unique from most other characters in the same position but nevertheless, there is much more we can deduce about Sanjay based on these few appearances and the Overwatch universe as a whole. So now let's dig into the more speculative side of his character and how it could factor into him being a future playable hero. First and foremost, it's safe to say that Sanjay is a bad guy. Even if he wasn't a confirmed member of Talon, his cold disregard for human life secures the status for him. However, like many of Overwatch's villains, he may very well be a bit more complicated than that. In a better world, we see that Sanjay prefers to achieve his goals through diplomacy first. When this fails, he next resorts to underhanded tactics, and only after that too fails does he go so far as to commit murder and violent destruction. It's hard to tell whether him prioritizing a diplomatic approach is grounded in his own morals, or simply what's most practical for Vishkar, but I'd actually argue that the two are one and the same. In every one of his appearances, Sanjay is shown to behave in an incredibly formal and clinical manner. No matter what, he stands by whatever is best for Vishkar as a corporation, so much so that it appears synonymous with his own morality. Ranging from him demanding that Symmetra behave professionally towards Rio's mayor, to questioning why she would bother incapacitating the guards rather than just killing them, Sanjay seems entirely detached from any sort of emotion when it comes to getting the job done. This suggests that he either possesses an incredible degree of professionalism, or perhaps even straight up lacks 
human empathy. Either he has no emotions of his own and uses Vishkar's mission as a moral compass, or believes so strongly in the goals of Vishkar that he's willing to suppress his own individuality for the sake of achieving them. Unfortunately, given how little we've seen of him so far, it's impossible to determine which of these are the case. It's also worth considering whether Sanjay even believes in Vishkar's ideologies, or if his alignment with them is merely a way of achieving personal power. He certainly comes across as confident and invested in building what he sees as a better world, but perhaps in actuality he's aware of how wrong his actions are and just does them anyway because he's evil and power hungry. However, personally, I don't think this is the case, simply because it makes him a far less interesting character. The dark yet understandable ideologies of Overwatch's villains are what makes many of them such great characters. Doomfist legitimately wants to better humanity and sees constant conflict as the best way of achieving that. Moira wants the same and is willing to push the ethical limits of science in order to improve the human race. If Sanjay ends up just being a greedy corporate official, that completely goes against everything the newly reformed Talon stands for. Doomfist offed the old heads of Talon and Masquerade specifically because they were greedy and only cared about personal profits. So the fact that we see Sanjay sitting at the council table following the reformation suggests that, like Doomfist, Moira, and the other notable villains, he's carrying out the will of Vishkar because of his belief in its ideologies rather than his own self-interest. But speaking of Sanjay's ties to Talon, this is another area of his character which poses a few questions. Namely, is the Vishkar Corporation aware that he's involved with them? While it's clear that Vishkar could stand to benefit from a relationship with Talon, it's hard to say whether the Vishkar CEO, whoever that may be, knows about this relationship, or if Sanjay is working with Talon in secret to discreetly support his employers. Even if the other Vishkar executives are aware of this connection, leaving all dealings solely in the hands of Sanjay could grant the rest of the corporation Corporation plausible deniability, thus greatly reducing the risk of controversy if word were ever to get out. Regardless though, this tie between Talon and Vishkar could lead to some interesting developments later down the line, particularly when it comes to the sharing of technology and services. Talon would have access to Vishkar's hard light and sonic technologies, and Vishkar may be able to use Talon for intelligence and mercenary work while keeping their own hands clean. Depending on how far back the relationship between the two has existed, Talon agents may even have been the ones personally responsible for blowing up the Collado building under orders from Sanjay. Looking at possible gameplay implications, we might even see Vishkar technology manifest itself in the upcoming PvE missions of Overwatch 2. While Vishkar may end up being its own faction for us to play against, we instead might just see certain Talon units who use hard light and sonic weapons, courtesy of Sanjay's ties to both organizations. But that's getting a bit ahead of ourselves. For now, let's just stick to Sanjay himself, which is a good transition to talking about his potential hero kit and abilities. Now, I've actually already made an entire video delving into a hero kit I designed specifically for Sanjay, so I recommend checking that out after you finish this video, but for a shorter, more synoptic look at Sanjay as a potential hero in Overwatch, let's examine the kind of tools and mechanics he may end up having. First and foremost would of course be Hard Light. Given that it's a technology predominantly used by Vishkar, with the one known exception being Lucio who stole it for the purpose of making Hard Light skates, it's safe to assume that Sanjay would utilize Hard Light to some extent within his kit. Now, real quick as a side note, a lot of people believe that the barriers used by Reinhardt and other heroes are made of hard light, but this isn't actually true. Barriers are a different technology altogether, and so far it's suggested that Vishkar is the only major organization with access to hard light. Now, an important thing to note is that Symmetra, who uses hard light to build her turrets and teleporter, is canonically described as being an incredibly skilled architect. The implication is that using hard light on the fly to build things is very difficult. Difficult. And based on Sanjay's story appearances thus far, we haven't actually seen any evidence to suggest that he's capable of weaving hard light at all. Given his negotiator position within Vishkar, I suspect that whatever hard light building mechanics he does have in his kit will be very rudimentary so as to remain consistent with the established canon of the technology. It may even be as basic as just possessing prefabricated hard light devices, much like Lucio's shoes, which are designed to just project hard light skills 
skates when in use. For example, depending on what role Sanjay would fit into, he might have something along the lines of a hard light suit or body armor, which could work well as a tank hero with shield health. The other prominent Vishkar technology is Sonic Tech, which was used in Rio to suppress the populace before Lucio led an uprising to drive them out. If Sanjay isn't able to use hard light to the same extent as Symmetra, then he may instead possess a unique version of Lucio's sound mechanics. Again, there's any number of different ways that this could manifest itself. He might even have a hybrid of both hard light and sonic tech alongside a splash of some Talon weaponry just to truly emphasize all his connections. Given his negotiator position, nothing definitive really sticks out for him when it comes to combat capabilities, but there's certainly a lot of mechanics which could plausibly apply to him. Again, I recommend checking out the hero concept video I made for just one example of a full kit that would fit him. Now to wrap up this video, I want to give a specific ranking of how likely Sanjay is to make it in-game as a playable hero. Currently, he's well behind many other candidates in terms of how much he's shown up in the story so far, and doesn't have any clear combat capabilities. However, because of his access to both Talon and Vishkar tech, alongside the fact that he is shown to be more than willing to enact violence, it's at the very least conceivable for him to step onto the battlefield in one manner or another. Additionally, adding him to the roster would greatly help to flesh out Vishkar, which is currently one of the more intriguing factions within the Overwatch universe, and could vicariously help to develop Symmetra and Lucio's characters, as well as any of the members from Talon. So, on the scale of 1 to 5, ranging from zero chance of being a hero to guaranteed, I'm gonna place Sanjay right in the middle at a 3. I could easily see him making it onto the hero roster, but at the same time, wouldn't hold my breath for him in light of the other characters we've had teased. And with that, thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Sanjay by dropping a comment down below, and leave a like to let me know if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, jab that bell, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. And if you'd like to support my channel, then hit that join button to earn some cool rewards like the people listed here. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.